Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your coil spring perch. So let's go ahead, jack the car up, and just jump right in. First thing you want to do is take this shock cover off or whatever it's called. So you've got three bolts on both sides and two on the top. So go ahead and uh, start taking those off. To get all the bolts off, it should just come right off. Just like that. Now we have access to our spring that we are going to, oh wow. Did you guys even get to see anything? And we have access to our spring now and we're gonna start, actually before, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm falling apart today, guys. <laughs> so before we start compressing the spring, we're going to go ahead and loosen and take this shock out. Um, my shocks are shot. <laughs> so new ones are coming and it'll just make it easier to get the, I was thinking originally just compress the spring, get it up high enough to get this saddle off. You guys are looking at the ceiling. Get the saddle off and then you just leave the shock in there and the spring, put the new one in, bolts it all together. That's just extremely difficult to do. Ask me how I know, cause I've done the other side already. So let's uh, go ahead and go above the car and, well, I guess while we're down here, let's go ahead and take these nuts off for the bottom of the shock. So now we're gonna go ahead and compress the spring. You want these about 180 degrees from each other on the spring. So. You can have your, I guess, hex head down on the bottom you can take a gun to it, impact gun and do it. I'm not that lucky. So I'm gonna jump ahead to where this is compressed and getting the shock out. So I went ahead and pulled the shock up. It's still not out of the car yet, I'll show you that. But once it's compressed, it should just come right out. It'll have to clear these lips here. But once you get that, it should pull right on out of the car. All right, so now we can go ahead and get this off and out. So these bolts up here, don't do anything. Don't try to get them off, they're not gonna turn. They're pressed in, I believe. They're on the back side of this low upper control arm. So to get to it, I found the best way is to just lift your whole spindle up and to do that, I use a floor jack underneath the hub and I just jack it up. With no spring, it basically goes up no problem. Just want to be careful not to overextend it. And I believe it is nine sixteenths is the wrench size or ratchet or socket size you need. There's one nut, two nuts, and slides right off. So as you can see here, I mean, this isn't even in there straight anymore because the bushings are so shot. Um, and this is actually supposed to, okay, it's crumbling apart. <laughs> uh, this is actually supposed to turn, um, like this one right here. Uh, so it's, it's just toast. So I believe they make rebuild kits for these with new bushings. I'm not sure how you do that because these are pressed in uh, nuts. So I guess you'd press them out and press them back in maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna save these and attempt to rebuild these. Uh, but this is the brand new one from Scott Drake. Uh, fits right in, has a grease port. So uh, let's go ahead and throw this in the car. Now that you have the old one out. I went ahead and put grease in it in that dirt fitting. And it just rests right in there. The little I don't know what you want to call this spring catch or whatever goes at the back because that's where the end of the spring sits and rests. And then now just tighten your 
nuts down. All right, now that I have the new uh, isolator pad on the top, I have this new lower, I forget what it's called now, strut or spring, uh, I'm not even gonna try to remember what it is, installed as well. Um, I can go ahead and put this spring back in. So I've compressed it back up, then it slides just right in there. And then remember that the end of the spring, if the other end that doesn't have the isolator on it, um, goes down at the back. And now you can start uh, unloosening your clamps and releasing the force. I'm not gonna make you watch that because it's extremely boring. So I'll skip to the very end uh, where we're getting ready to take these off and button everything up and get ready to put it back on the road. So both these clamps are loose. So just gonna spin them down and out of the way so we can uh, take them off. And then we'll put the, finish putting the shock on and put the cover on, put the tires on, and we will be done with this project. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Helped it help you put in your, uh, Coil spring purchase. There you go. That's what they're called. Um, hope to help or you saw what not to do um, or a shortcut you could possibly take. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys here next time. Have a great day.